The topic of today's video is gonna be basically just explaining what the uh, plans for the channel are, why I changed my name on the channel, and uh, what the plans for the Celica this year are gonna be. As far as the channel goes, well, for one, I changed the name to Legacy, which uh, I think it's just a pretty cool name overall. The reason for that though, eventually I wanna move on to different kind of content and like a a name like that gives me more options like i want to do maybe like success videos do interviews cool things like that and then um as the channel grows as i grow as a person i'm gonna be gaining more knowledge and uh hopefully i mean that's the plan i'm gonna get a different car um hopefully a gtr someday i know Connor got one recently, so that's a huge inspiration. And I'm talking about Connor Nation. He lives over in uh, Marysville, which is around the uh, Seattle area, more like up top, I believe. I live more like towards the east of Washington, so it's a pretty cool thing. So for the channel, like I said, I changed it to Legacy, which is just, I believe, a cool name overall. It's like you can tap into many different things and it still looks like a cool name with the profile picture i want to get a logo right now i just got a picture and i kind of cropped it and everything but it's, it's just a picture from google so as far as the channel goes that's where i'm thinking about taking it i want to do car reviews at some point also want to do um, many more things with the Celica, of course. At the same time as I grow the channel and stuff, I want to do different kind of things. So this kind of gives me options instead of just having my name because I've kind of noticed that people kind of look at your name and if it's not that cool, they won't really subscribe as much or won't be as interested. So it's a cool thing to do. The Celica is going to be... Um, having a few different things going on with it um as far as right now or like what i've done so far i've uh, basically just tried to like restore it to what its original condition or what it should be like because it was pretty much trash when i got it i got it for pretty cheap like a thousand two hundred but had to change the motor bunch of body panels windshield right here had a huge crack uh that door the passenger side door had to change it the carpet had to be changed stereo didn't have a stereo not really any mods put a short shifter in the engine engine was swapped out for jdm i don't think it makes much of a difference if any at all um but it's supposed to be a low mileage motor but with that came a problem which is either the clutch or, or the flywheel one of those two is probably messed up i'm thinking the flywheel because it makes like a stuttering type of sound when you release the clutch it hasn't been doing it as much but there's that so yeah basically i've been trying to get the silica back to what it originally was supposed to be so like a a car in good condition a good little I guess you can say sports car, um, an old one though. I'm gonna get into the, I believe seven or eight things that I wanna do to it in 2021. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do for the Celica in 2021 is gonna be fix all the issues that I have. It has a uh, check engine light which is a PO420. I bought a catalytic converter, tried to install it, but it wasn't the right part. So I had to send that one back. I just got my refund. So I'm gonna go ahead and order another one, but it's gonna have to be the right part. I got an airbag light on. As you can see, these are GT seats, which doesn't have the airbags on the side. I did try to install 
what are they called the uh, resistors for the uh for the airbags i guess i did do it right but it's getting a code on the passenger side seat so i'm not sure what that could be i want to fix that i mentioned about the the clutch or flywheel i want to get that figured out because it's it's kind of embarrassing really the tensioner pulley is just starting to make noise not a big deal i'll get to it whenever the weather gets a little better as far as that as fixing uh just little issues here and there that's about it everything else seems to be running pretty good i'm gonna take care of this engine it was in pretty good condition so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of it and uh yeah so number two is gonna be an exhaust i want to get an indivia n1 i know uh equinox the other guy with the toyota celica the blue raspberry one he got a that same exhaust it, it sounds pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and do that pretty loud but i guess it'll sound good hopefully um right now i have the stuck exhaust so that would be a good good change for the uh, tone on that and uh yeah as far as exhaust well it's that indie catalytic converter i don't think headers that's just a little too much right now for me but uh for this year exhaust hopefully it's like 400 bucks maybe or maybe less if i get a use but that's another thing the exhaust so the third thing would be adding tint to these windows you can see they're pretty clear so i'm gonna go ahead and do that should make it look pretty good do these windows and then the hatch window so should look pretty good and uh yeah thing would be to restore the headlights um let me actually show you guys wait, look they're not all that bad but they are a little oxidized i want to maybe do some leds too so look it looks all right before i got it had all of these messed up and stuff and um had to replace the fenders, the hood, windshield, front bumper, rear bumper, one of the doors, so, and the hatch, a bunch of other things too. Good thing I bought another car for cheap and someone else bought it from me. All right, so the fifth thing I believe would be the TRD or action package, which um, I have already. I got it for $300. And uh, it was pretty cheap, I believe. But the only issue with that is that it, it's in uh, gray color. So I mean, they're gonna, well, my two options were to repaint it or to wrap it to black, but it wouldn't look too great because then you're gonna have some really good pieces like the action package all wrapped in nice, black color without any scratches and then I'm gonna have the rest of the body with scratches and then clear coat peeling and stuff like that so that actually goes to my other plan for the Celica for 2021 which would be wrapping it I'm gonna install the, the TRD body kit and then I'm gonna wrap it completely still trying to decide on the color it might just be blue some kind of blue or i don't really want to do black again i kind of want to change the color of it i don't want to do red either because i'm not sure if that if 
would affect insurance or whatever. Either, I think it was Cosmic Blue. You can get a whole roll of wrap for like 700 bucks, which is not bad, but then you'd have to do it yourself. I've seen a few, I've been researching uh, videos on how to wrap and um, it seems kind of hard and time consuming, but definitely doable. And then the good thing about that is that if you get one of the parts messed up, you can probably rewrap it and you don't have to do the whole car or whatever. So that's another big thing. I'm gonna wrap the silica and uh, should be pretty exciting. If not, I did want it to do blue raspberry because it looks pretty good, but this other guy did it. So I don't want to be the same as him and copy him. So I'm gonna do a blue which is what I wanted to do originally without looking at anyone's stuff. So blue would be a cool color. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it, that's a big thing. And it's way better than painting. They were trying to charge me 2,500 for paint and that's without doing any body work. So they would probably ask for much more with the body work that the car needs. So gonna wrap it. Hopefully it costs under a thousand dollars and it's gonna change the whole appearance of the car. That way I don't have to paint the body kit. I'm just gonna install it on there. So there's that. And uh, lastly, I'm gonna do coilovers. And um, with those, I think I'm gonna go with BC Racing coilovers, which are like a thousand dollars. And uh, I'm, I'm not only gonna do it because it's gonna lower the car and it's gonna have brand new suspension. I'm also gonna do it because some of my struts are actually going bad. You can tell that the uh, rubber is kind of being all messed up. My mechanic actually told me that I kind of needed to replace them pretty soon. So I might as well get BC Racing coilovers and lower it and make it look better instead of getting you know oem brand new coils or suspension and uh having it cost me pretty much the same from the factory unless i get them used or aftermarket which i'm not really too excited about i'd rather just put the racing bc racing coilovers on there that's what i got going on for the celica this year the celica has been pretty good to me besides the engine obviously but i think that's how i got it i don't i don't know how i didn't notice it but it was ticking and then i did a pull and then kind of blew up so um yeah the celica has a few plants this this year and the channel hopefully i get to a thousand subscribers if not more it's very doable there's a few other Toyota Celica YouTubers that get pretty dis decent views. So hopefully I get there. It was a pretty good year. I did YouTube for a little while. I got one good video that had 22,000 views, which is the most that I've got on a video, which was top five Toyota Celica built on YouTube. Part two, part one was kind of weird, but I learned from it. There's gonna be a lot more content on the Celica for sure. And maybe other cars. Hopefully a lot of exciting stuff for sure. And quality of the videos is gonna improve. I'm gonna get a camera because this is being filmed with an iPhone X. So pretty good camera, camera. but it might be able to be better or maybe not. Let me know what you guys think if you actually watch the whole video until here. Also, it's the first time I'm in a video, which is kind of weird. I think it's a it's the next step to growing my YouTube channel. So it kind of had to be done. So yeah, it's January 6th today and there's a whole year to go by. So I'm pretty sure all of those things are gonna come in into the Celica and uh, many, many more things are gonna come to the channel over the years. So yeah, it should be exciting. 
I'm a pretty small YouTuber. I guess you can, I can call myself a YouTuber because I'm making videos on YouTube. But 220 subscribers, it's not that much, but it's very well appreciated. Whoever watches these videos till the end and uh, likes what I put up. A lot of new things are gonna come in, a lot of new content. I wanna do giveaways to reward the people who, who have been subscribed for a little while. Like, I know there's a few people that always comment. Yeah, those people might get a few things shipped to them for free. So, just to, that would be just to reward them for, uh, you know, helping out the channel. So, that's, that would be it for the channel and the Celica. So, hopefully everyone understands, whoever watches the videos. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.